These are Covishield, Covaxin, Sputnik V and Moderna. The four COVID vaccines approved in India. Pfizer, Moderna, Sputnik. These have very high efficacy rates, 95, 94 and 91 percent. But Covaxin and Covishield are between 70 to 80 percent. If you look at just these numbers, it's natural to think that the first three vaccines are better. But that is not correct. Let's understand why. To understand what these efficacy numbers mean, you first have to understand how vaccine trials are done. A vaccine's efficacy rate is calculated by doing large clinical trials in which tens of thousands of people are broken into two groups. One group gets the vaccine and the other gets a placebo, which is to say they remain unvaccinated. Then all trial subjects are sent to live their lives as they normally would. Over the next several months, scientists monitor how many get COVID-19. So let's look at Pfizer's vaccine trial data to understand what happens next. In that trial, 43,000 participants were divided into two equal-sized groups. 170 of them got infected with COVID-19. Now, how many of these 170 were in the group that got the vaccine determines its reported efficacy rate. For example, if these 170 were equally split across the two groups, that would mean the vaccine is not effective at all. That is, 0% efficacy. On the other extreme, if all 170 were in the placebo group, the vaccine would have a 100% efficacy. In Pfizer's trial, 162 were in the unvaccinated group and just 8 in the vaccinated group. So its efficacy rate is 95%. It means the vaccinated group experienced 95% fewer cases of COVID-19 than the unvaccinated group. Every vaccine's efficacy rate is calculated in the same way. Covishield's reported efficacy is 70%. This does not mean that if 100 people are vaccinated with Covishield, 30 of them will get COVID. It means that each person vaccinated with Covishield is 70% less likely to get COVID than a person who has not received any vaccine. So does this mean that taking Pfizer's vaccine makes me 25% less likely to get COVID than someone who got Covishield? Not quite. Remember, the trials compare infection rates in vaccinated versus unvaccinated people and not the infection rates in people who got vaccine A versus vaccine B. Therefore, the efficacy rates we see cannot be used to compare two vaccines. Also, each vaccine's trial might be done in very different circumstances. Trials have been done in different countries, at different times, when the case rates are very different and when the prevailing variants are very different. The only way to make head-to-head -head comparison between two vaccines is to study them in the same trial, with the same inclusion criteria, the same parts of the world, at the same time. These efficacy numbers really just tell you what happened in each vaccine's trial, not how different vaccines compare. But many experts argue this isn't even the best number to judge a vaccine by anyway, because completely preventing infection is not always the point of a vaccine. Instead, it is to control the spread of the virus and to remove its ability to cause serious disease, hospitalization and death. And every one of these COVID-19 vaccines do these things really well. In the trials of these vaccines, while some people in the unvaccinated groups were hospitalized or even died from COVID-19, not one fully vaccinated person in any of these trials was hospitalized or died from COVID-19. Efficacy matters, but it doesn't matter the most. So which is the best vaccine? The one you can get right now. With each of us who takes a COVID vaccine, we get closer to the end of the pandemic.